So we just woke up in a parking lot next to a waterfall. We, we got here yesterday after we have been watching the dolphins. There's been a lot of people going up and down and we were tired yesterday so we didn't even go and check the falls. But this morning we will. It's called Kayate Falls. So we're still just half an hour outside Taurunga, uh, where we were yesterday and took off with a boat to see the dolphins. And I think uh, this place here with the falls is where a lot of locals come as well, just for uh, obviously see the, the, the scenery, but also just to cool off on hot summer days like this. We thought this was going to be a little walk in the park. Obviously not. <laughs> We've been walking for 10-15 minutes now and realizing that this is actually a hike. And we're not really kitted out for this. We didn't bring water and we didn't bring any shoes. So we're walking in sandals. <laughs> Nearly got, nearly got <laughs> crashed by a bird. <laughs> made it back to the car after our little hike to the waterfall and it's just amazing like uh, New Zealand is uh, covered with these uh, little hidden gems everywhere and you just drive around, drive along and uh, you see a sign for something you pop in and it's usually amazing that day we made it back to Auckland and we returned our camper van The next leg of our trip was by train, all the way to Wellington, the capital of New Zealand. Alright, so we have uh, made some changes. We're on the Northern Explorer and it's probably the, the most uh, amazing train that we've ever been on. Uh, it's so beautiful to just cruise down the, the North Island from Auckland all the way down to Wellington um, and just take it all in uh, whilst having a couple of uh, cold drinks and some nice food. Alright, so we made it off the train and we're in Wellington. 
and the weather is a little bit, uh, I don't know, a little bit colder, but we'll live. But we always say this, you know, like traveling broadens your mind and uh, whenever we go to a new place, we want to try like a new local kind of dish or something. Uh, so today, met some uh, nice uh, girls on the train today and uh, we sat next to them one of them was Swedish another girl was American and they live here in New Zealand so they actually invited us to a party tonight Yay! <laughs> we're gonna go to uh, some sort of brewery the launch is a new beer and there's also gonna be some local bands playing so we're looking forward to that How was the ride? It was very short, <laughs> <laughs> but it was nice. <laughs> Wellington was this beautiful. Oh, I didn't know anything about Wellington before I came here. <laughs> so after a pretty awesome uh, night yesterday, uh, which uh, started with some uh, beer tasting and some live band and finished up with some pony riding. <laughs> We woke up today and feeling quite refreshed after sleeping in a beautiful hotel room. And uh, now today we're gonna go around and explore uh, Wellington. And right now we're in uh, Botanical Gardens and it's absolutely beautiful. So we are right now in the Australian garden, apparently. And there's so many flowers that I recognize from home. It feels like Swedish summer already. On our way down to the city now, we've been visiting the botanical gardens. Absolutely fantastic. Uh, and it's all for free as well, so it's a uh, budget friendly th uh, thing to do here in Wellington. And we came on a perfect day. Just paid a couple of dollars to um, go up in the cable cart, but that's something that's optional. We really love to go to botanical gardens in different cities in the world. The last one we went to was in Rio, Rio? Yeah. Rio de Janeiro. And, uh, which was totally different and it's so cool to see that all the different flowers and all the different gardens <laughs> yeah. no a fantastic thing to do Wellington. Uh, Morning. 
today we have a long day ahead of us. We are gonna start with taking the ferry to the South Island. Yep. And after that, we'll see how we make it up to Nelson, which is our uh, goal for our next camper van. You said it was the last time, but you keep coming back to tell me. Sorry that you take back all the things you said just to hurt me. I love just went cold, but I'm still burning. I love just went cold. Why? As we didn't have any transport to Nelson that day, we decided that hitchhiking would be our best bet to get there in time. So our time on uh, the North Island has clearly come to an end and we're starting our journey into the South Island. Yes, and if you want to see more of that, yeah, just make sure you subscribe and watch the next video. That's it. But you're taking them down It's tearing me apart I can't pretend